I got a call from this developer, seemingly out of the blue, um, and we proceeded to have an extraordinary conversation. Because one of the first things that Philip Kafka said was, I'd like to think of Core City as a park. And I'm like, who is this guy? And it was an extraordinary moment. I mean, extraordinary first date where, um, uh, oh, I remember Philip took me to this really good coffee shop. And I had a, um, he goes, oh, you want something to eat? Well, I picked a gooey, crusty thing, like an idiot. But so we're, we proceed, you know, to Core City in the site, and um, uh, this contractor that you know he has um, was um, coming out of his uh, uh, backhoe. You know, he was cleaning up you know, the site, and um, he jumps out of the the, the uh, backhoe, and he wants to shake my hand. So I'm like, and I reach down and I rinse you know, my hands in a puddle. And Sylvester says, Philip, she's the one. He goes, I agree, you're hired. I went, okay. Okay, and it was literally on that trip where we stood in front of this parking lot, you know, with these wonderful one, uh, one two-story buildings that, you know, we had a bakery going and a, you know, a, a restaurant. He said, he just turned to me and said, what would you do? And I said, dig. I immediately regretted that because I'm like, you know, and he, you know, and he just was like, well, do it. Because I, I did, I was like, well, the engine house was raised, I think in the 70s where they used to push, you know, the buildings just into the basements, right? And um, so, uh, and, I, and I said, you know, I'd love to see, you know, I have a suggestion to form the ground from below the ground up, and an idea of, of urban, wet, uh, urban woodland, you know, dis descending, you know, into this ground. Um, so um, we dug, you know, and we, I, I walked around Core City where they'd had done other work and had other materials. I was like, can I use that? You know, can you use that? Can we put that over there? And um, we just, I mean, it was, you know, it was, I was going to say a party, maybe a party, you know, I mean, like every day, you know, it was just gleeful uh, of what we would find. And, um, and it was through that digging that, you know, kind of the organization of the park took place. And kind of, you know, as simple as that, you know. And uh, I was still directing, you know. And uh, yeah, it was amazing, you know, how it came together. And we found folks, because it wasn't a very typical, I guess, construction site with a fence around it or anything. We found that, you know, neighbors were really curious, and that was wonderful. And we had, we had folks going to the bakery who were new Detroiters, um, curious. Um, so they were watching, you know, they were watching the park emerge. And, you know, that 1893 stone was the plaque, you know, it's all you had to do. You know, and you know, I saw Philip there over and over, you know, telling the story. It's a work that um, is sending me in a direction. One that I, I don't think I was wholly um, convinced of or confident about. So making that part with Philip and other folks. Um, I think is why, you know, I swell up, um, and it's, it's always nice to 
I mean, it's amazing that I had um, the opportunity to experiment that way. And in a way, I mean, maybe it's dumb to say, but feel safe in doing that. Um, and maybe, again, I, as I say that, I wish that for other colleagues, you know, of, a, of seeking out projects that you can take risks and grow.